So the federal government's got my money? Not really. The feds just have worthless paper debentures, which they're trying to hoist on other banks and financial institutions. Other banks got my money? Not really. So many of those loans are defaulting that the Treasury Department may have to use public funds to bail them out. So the Treasury Department has my money? Not really. Oh. The government's broke. Broke? In debt. You've heard of the national debt. Yes. Well, they can't pay off the loans right away. They have to borrow from other countries. But all the other countries are going through credit crises, too. They're closing down their banks. Now you see why there will be a slight delay in getting your money while the government raises cash. How are they going to raise the cash? Simple. By raising taxes. I can't pay higher taxes. I got no money. Another reason for the slight delay. I just want my money. Who's got my money? Everybody. Everybody? The citizens of the United States have the money. As soon as they pay it in higher taxes, you can get your money back. My fellow citizens have my money. They agreed to pay the federal government whatever it needed to pay its debts, you included. When did I agree to such a god-awful arrangement? When you elected your congressmen and gave them the key to the treasury. I didn't vote. Then you passed that right along to others by default. It's not fair. I didn't give them an open pocketbook. I just want my money back. How much is your deposit? Four hundred and sixty-two dollars and seventy-six cents. Well, as soon as you pay an extra four hundred and sixty-two dollars and seventy-six cents in your taxes, you can get your deposit back. You mean I have to pay my own money? I owe myself? Exactly. It's what you signed up for. Something's not right. It's not fair. You elected officials in Washington and gave them the purse strings, folks. If you want to complain, you better complain to yourselves. Oh, look at the clock on the wall. Six o'clock. Closing time, folks. Everyone file out quietly. We'll continue this enlightening conversation tomorrow, or perhaps after a slight bank holiday. Mrs. Ortsman, give me a couple of bucks. Why? It'll be a perfect marriage, Papa Dollar and Mama Dollar. We just put them in the vault and hope they make a lot of little baby dollars. How to go? Mr. Pennypacker, you just put your hand on my posterior. Arse, or maybe the ass. <coughs> Slovanovich, get that donkey out of here. Perhaps a butt is a more correct. A big butt is even more correct. Oh! Out you go. Well, we made it another day. Banks are not an easy way to make our money, huh, boss? No, Marconi is not so easy. Maybe we should become congressmen. They're the ones who control all the money. All they got to do is raise their hands in a vote, and there goes the money. Billions here or there, wherever they want. 